So I'm doing this series on the Holy Spirit and what's his involvement and activity in um, the seven years before Christ returns. And I'm getting most of my information from the book of Revelation. That's my primary study. That's primarily where I'm finding the information about end times. And uh, occasionally I'm going to drift off into another passage as it applies to the book of Revelation. All right. And uh, one of the things that people have thought is that the person who restrains the Antichrist is the Holy Spirit in the believer. And so then the, the next corollary to that is that uh, the Antichrist person can't be revealed until the church is gone because uh, the church has been restraining his appearing just by virtue of being here and the Holy Spirit dwelling in us. Um, I'm going to say I don't think that's the case. I used to think that and I don't think that anymore because I've read Revelation and I read what it says there. Okay, but first let's take a look at uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 3 and Paul says, let no one deceive you in any way for that day will not come unless the uh, rebellion or falling away comes first and the man of lawlessness is revealed the son of perdition who opposes and exalts himself against every so-called god or object or wor of worship so that he takes his seat in the temple of god proclaiming himself to be god okay and so just by this passage alone we know that the temple is going to have to be rebuilt in order for this person to appear there do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you this? And you know what is restraining him now, so that he may be revealed in his time. So there is a restraint that's put on the lawless one, or we, we call him the Antichrist. Okay, Revelation doesn't call him the Antichrist. He has a lot of names like the beast from the sea, or the beast from the bottomless pit, or um, the seventh king, there's all kinds of names for him, but the Antichrist isn't one of them in Revelation. But I'll call him the Antichrist right now because that's what most people know him as. The Antichrist cannot be revealed because right now he's being restrained. Well, what is he being restrained by? Um, and this is where people have thought he's being restrained by the Holy Spirit in within the church that's present in the world today. Well, okay, if you read Revelation, you'll understand who the Antichrist is. Okay, He's actually a composite of two beings. Revelation 17 tells us that there's going to be a seventh king who's going to be have a head wound. And there's going to be an eighth king. The seventh king reigns for a little while. And the eighth king is one of the seven kings that are part of the world empires. The eighth king is actually, I think, what Revelation teaches is it's the seventh king that gets the head wound who is now resuscitated resurrected whatever uh, it's not a, it's a false resurrection it's a who knows how that happens but he becomes indwelt by Apollyon who is the angel of the bottomless pit that we read about in Revelation chapter 9 and Revelation chapter 9 tells us that he's in the bottomless pit and that that place is sealed, that the shaft to that pit is locked. And it's not until the fifth angel blows his trumpet that an angel is given the key to this bottomless pit and he is able to open the shaft of the bottomless pit. This is in Revelation 9, uh, 1 and 2. And the smoke rises out of this pit. Well then, Apollyon is released along with this locust army. Apollyon is the, the beast from the pit. He's the beast from the bottomless pit. And we read in Revelation chapter 11, verse 7, that when the two witnesses have finished their testimony, the beast that ascends from the bottomless pit will make war upon them and conquer them and kill them. So this is the that creature. So what we have here is the seventh king dying, resurrecting, becoming the eighth king, who is really one of the seven, who is actually indwelt by Apollyon, the beast from the bottomless pit. So the, we know that whatever has been restraining the Antichrist is in the hands of God, because it's not until the fifth trumpet, which all of these things, the trumpets and seals, they're all initiated by God. They're not, um, they don't come from out of nowhere. He's the one who allows or per permits these things to happen. And at the fifth trumpet, 
that's when this uh, being is released so he can indwell the seventh king and make him into the eighth king, the beast from the sea, who is the Antichrist. All right, so what's restraining the Antichrist? It's God. It's kind of that simple. It's not the church. It's not the Holy Spirit in the church. It requires God's permission for this uh, place to be unlocked and for Apollyon to come out. So I think that's uh, is who or what is restraining uh, the Antichrist, and it's not the church. So there you have it. So I'll see you on another video. Till then, you have a very blessed day.